<laughs> YouTube land. Hi. We just played two good games in a row on PS1 Let's Tries, so... I'm a little scared. I think this one's going to be good, too. It's just not going to be a very long video. Some random fighting game? Ah. Gundam, a thing I know much about. Gundam Battle Assault 1, not the second one, so... I'm pretty sure this is just like a 2D, maybe a 3D fighter. I'm pretty sure it's just 2D. We'll try versus mode and then go with story mode for a bit. Like we always do with these games. Yes! Uh, so I'm fairly familiar with Gundam, especially in the early days. Uh, who's the who's the most lame character here? Like, who's like... The lamest? No, well, who's the one that sucks the most? I think the cast is actually pretty good. A lot of these right characters are just like sort of like one-off enemies. So maybe one of those. Who's the main character? Uh, so Hero is the main character of Gundam Wing. Uh, he is pretty lame in terms of being a protagonist. Pick him. How about this guy? Yeah, that's fine. Sazabi. That's a uh, Char's um, counterattack version of Char. That's his younger version. That's oh, cool. This is the uh, this is the main character of my favorite Gundam series, Zeta Gundam. Camille. Although, cool. I think they called him something different for some reason. They called him Z? Oh! Go! Oh, hold on, don't attack yet. Whoa! Look at these sprites! Yeah, this is pretty cool. Hold on, let's get close to each other to let the sprites get big. I'm it not almost looks... You know that, that thing I was talking about when we were doing... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know when we were doing a um, Fantastic Four, where it's not like real 3D, but they're like layering sprites on top of each other? I think they're doing that again here. I can't believe we played two games like almost back to back to do the same thing. You ready? Yeah. Whoa, did you go to the background? Sprite scaling, kinda. This kinda reminds me of a, uh, like an SNK fighter. But way more, uh, uh, rough. Slow. I kinda remember that, uh, the second one was better than this, but I don't remember. I tried to do a Hadouken and I shot some stuff like that. This game just controls so weirdly. Checkmate? Does that have something to do with Gundam? I don't think so. Like, is it? Are they like? Ah, uh, yes. This is a this is a chess battle of Gundams. No. Humanity should be judged and atone for their sins against nature and the earth. Why don't they understand? Okay. As someone who knows zero about Gundam. Yeah, Char's entire thing is that he's part of the anti-Earth, um... What do they call it? The anti-Earth, uh... Group. And, uh, he's actually a protagonist in Zeta Gundam. It's just, it kind of just comes down to... If the Federation are being the good guys or the bad guys. And the Federation are kind of dis um... They're kind of portrayed in a gray area where they can be good, but if they're given too much power, then they uh, end up being very bad, like in Zeta Gundam. Alright, I'll be uh, Judo. Judo is the main character of Double Z Gundam. Double Zeta. Zeta! Ooh! So, this one right here on the right, the W Gundam, that's the coolest one I've seen so far. Yeah, Gundam Wing has more of the iconic designs that, like, casual Gundam fans know. I've seen this one before, for um, sure. Also, in, I think in uh, the second game, they have more of the Gundam Wing uh, Gundams. There's one with the green scythe that a lot of people know. But yeah, Gundam's pretty weird, because the first three series, uh, original Gundam, then Zeta Gundam, then Double Z are all part of, like, the same story in the same universe. But then after that, like, Gundam Wing and, like, G Gundam are all, like, self-contained stories and characters in, like, a completely different universe. Also, apparently I suck at this game. <laughs> Spencer is just the best. Not that I know what I'm doing. I don't... I think I'm losing. I can't really tell. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Checkmate. I, I think I've seen pretty much all I need to see for the versus mode, to be honest with yeah, you. Fine. Like, it's cool. I, I think I would enjoy it more if I knew Gundam, maybe? 
but also it's very slow. And I understand that because you're like these huge Gundams, but. Uh, can you just reset the console? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a second one of these, huh? I'm gonna guess that this game's price is fifty bucks because there's a second one that I'm gonna guess is probably like over a hundred. Oh yeah, I guess. I'm gonna it. This is the first one, so I don't know if this one's more expensive. I'd assume that everyone that wants to get this game is just gonna get the second one. I assume the second one's more expensive because it came out later in the PS1's life. There are a lot of PS1 games. Uh, actually, hmm. actually, yeah, it actually looks like the first game is. Mm, no, they're about the same price, about around forty bucks. Okay, I know we've had this in store before, um, so it's not like that rare. And this was definitely, uh, Gundam Wing was really the first Gundam to be popular in the West, because of Tsunami. Uh, so it makes sense that this game isn't, like, super obscure. AC. one nine. What does that mean? Looks like our war isn't over yet. This music, though. Hero is such a lame protagonist. I don't know how to explain it, but he's just so lame. Rip. This isn't bad. How about this one? It's all the same. I guess we'll just use the dead. Wing Gundam. But him saying, like, okay, here we go, let's do it, that's not his character at all. Like, that is peak out of character. Ha! Huh. He's just so, like, emotionless and, like, barely says anything. Rip. Ah, uh, I like this guy. But I have my orders. Okay. Well, he's gonna defeat us. It's what pretty, is this? It's pretty lame that, uh... That says... Um... What do they call him? It's been a while since I watched Gundam. But you have the forces of... Zeon? Is that what it's called? But this is, like, just one of the more grunt uh, units. Well, I guess it makes sense to fight first. It is pretty lame that you had to choose hero. You can't use the other characters in the story mode. Very bare bones. Yeah. I, li I like the background thing. That's pretty cool. Unlike uh, Fatal... I think it's Fatal Fury, the one where you can go between... Ooh, there's like realistic, like... That's cool. Damage? That's awesome, actually. I would say... I, I would go as far to say if we were bigger fighting game fans, maybe we didn't even enjoy it more. Like, this seems like a pretty solid game. Who gave you these orders? Yeah, my problem is, like, a... I wouldn't say, like, I'm a huge Gundam fan, but I watch most of the series. But, like, Hero is, like... He's not acting like he should, and, like, this is just, like, some fan service game where it's, like, a bunch of characters that aren't even supposed to meet. Yeah. It's, like, kind of cool, but it just feels like it's very, like, vapid. I'm on a reconnaissance mission. Yeah, the Zaku. Zeon Zakus. I'm, I'm good whenever you are, by the way. Okay. I, I've, I think, with fighting games like this, you see all you need within the first, uh, five minutes? Okay, here's the super iconic, like, Zaku design. Um, I still think the W Gundam's more uh, more iconic to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just talking about like Zeon forces. Uh, oh, okay. The the other iconic like Zeon force would be Charge Red Z uh, Zaku. The one uh, with, there's one with a green uh, scythe. That's from Gundam Wing. That's just a regular Gundam. Oh, okay. okay. We're done. Yep. Uh, so any Gundam fans out there, tell us uh, if you like this game. And tell us uh, how much of a pleb I am, because I only know the two Gundams. And, uh, yeah, this game exists. It's for the PS1. See ya. Bye.